Well, I have to humbly admit that I was frustrated with my husband about something this weekend. And as a result, I started to make some assumptions about decisions I thought he was going to make. And so one morning I was making some kind of snippy remarks and really, I mean, it wasn't helpful. And uh, my husband, on the other hand, happens to have a personality where he and character where he just stays calm in these situations rather than jabbing back. He just kind of listens and stays calm. It really is a gift. And um, at the same time, he also happened to be making me coffee every morning. He makes me an Americano with our espresso machine. And he was doing that while I was throwing out these comments. And he just quietly comes over and passes me my coffee and says, here's your non-judgmental coffee, honey. <laughs> and I did have to just start laughing in that moment, right? Like, just kind of the reminder, and I'm not making judgments back at you. Instead, here's your coffee. He called me out in a gentle way. And so no doubt uh, there's somebody in your life right now who you may be judging or making assumptions about. Maybe it's somebody who you have a conflict with. Maybe it's somebody at work who you feel like they're not pulling their weight or they're doing things that you're not quite sure why they are and it's frustrating you. Maybe it's somebody who has a different opinion than you on a certain topic. And naturally, our brains start to create stories about them. We start to make assumptions. And it makes it harder for us to now step into a healthy conversation with them. And so I want to encourage you to pause and ask yourself two questions. First, what assumptions am I making? What is the story I'm telling myself, as Brene Brown uh, reminds us? And then secondly, what don't I know? Really, what don't I know is what's causing me to make assumptions, but it can be helpful to list those thoughts as well. What don't I know about their experience, about what they're thinking, about what they'll do next? What don't I know? Ask yourself those two questions and hopefully it can help you choose to engage with them in a thoughtful manner, maybe enter into a healthy conversation. Um, those two questions can really work some wonder and I should have asked them this weekend. Thank you.